this is my kingdom. And on Saturday night, I'm going to roar. I'm going to show jackals like this guy, Chell, the P, Sonnen, what a king's truly like. I dislike this man. Not even a man. He's a child. He said some personal things about me, and he's lit a fire under my ass like no other. I've been in camp for 14 weeks. This guy thinks he could come in after eight weeks of camp and compete with me after taking three years off. I'm going to hurt him. I'm not looking for a submission. I'm going to dominate. I have something to pay back. He embarrassed me on my birthday. I'm going to embarrass him on Saturday night. Yeah, I like distractions. I don't even know what Tito's doing here. I came here to fight Vandalay Silva, uh, and he's busy. I got a phone call said, you want to fight Tito on January 21st? My wife said we didn't have anything going on, so I came out to California. I love having distractions. I don't like days off. Tito is literally in the only profession I know of where you don't need to wear a suit, and he keeps showing up in one. It's like a local funeral parlor closed, and he it's went and took class, it off a corpse. Dude. It's something you need to learn. Shows up class. looking like a maitre d' at Golden Corral. Yeah. I'm just happy that he got here. Somebody got him the Uber app, or, or he, he thumbed a ride down down here. I hope he gets to the forum well, on you're Saturday You're very welcome. Night. Your chick actually had red penny night this weekend because you're getting paid because of me. Uh, speaking, yeah. of, speaking of which, Tito, um, what, what did you do with the money you won off of Amanda Nunes, by the way? Um, actually, I just uh, parlayed it into me kicking Chell's ass. <laughs> yeah, everything in that photo about Tito with that ticket, except Tito. I could, I could have sent out that same. T you really think Tito Ortiz put fifty five grand on Amanda Nunes? Come on, man. No. Okay, final question for you Scott. You were a little speechless yeah. on that. <laughs> yeah, I, a little bit speechless. Did on I just that. break it to you? That there's something out there called Photoshop. <laughs> I think everybody's starting to believe your lies now. <laughs> Finally, your lies aren't become a truth, huh, buddy? Tito, go ahead. Tell him what I do so well. Well, he talks well. His mouth has gotten him every fight, big fight that he's had. And every time when it's time to present and perform, he's failed. On Saturday night, it's not going to change. What I do well, I come up with heart, I come up with determination, I come up with hard work and perseverance. When I get my hand raised, I don't know why. And so all the millions of fans that have had my back over the last 20 years. Tito always says I'm using my mouth to get my opportunities. The only person I know that made money using their mouth is his ex-wife. Well, just to correct you, I was never no marriage. You're a fucking punk, dude. <laughs> that's, what you call, that's what you call class right here compared to no class. That was a nasty line. No buddy. class. No class at all. That's why you see him with thongs and fucking jeans and a t-shirt. <laughs> No class. They don't call you the bad guy for nothing. A bad girl. I was listening to Kristen Walken, a um, little skit he did, and he talked about a lion, king of the jungle, this huge lion with a big giant mane in this hot, smothering weather in Africa. And the little small lions come up, kind of poke at him, bite on his ear, bite on his neck. The lioness comes over and buzz, bugs him. Then you got the jackals and the rest of the wilderness looking and seeing this lions on that mountaintop and they come over and bother him the jackals laugh at him the hyenas laugh at him nip at his toes they eat all of his food and they sit back and they got jackals like this who think it's a comedy until one day he gets sick of it and he attacks and he shows to these people who the fucking king of the jungle is and this little hyena I'm gonna eat right through him and we'll see on Saturday night. It, 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 you know what? It's good because it, it fuels me. It's fueled me over the last 14 weeks. And it's great to see. Because you hear that snoring nose? That's a snoring nose you're going to hear in the second round of the fight. <coughs> ha, that's good. That's some, that was good. That was good work by you. I gave you a good setup. Yeah, you're a, you're a good comedian, man. That's about it. You're a good, you're a good actor. That's about it. Just here to help. I'm a fighter. You're an actor. You're on the fucking apprentice because of me. You're the bad guy because of me. You trying to talk because of me. You've never had never won a world title. Who's the last champion you've ever beat? Who's the last legend as you say you've ever beat? You call yourself a legend? What have you done legendary besides talk? Buddy, on Saturday night, those little blue eyes are going to be sparkling even more, man. Just wait and watch. Just wait and watch. Just, just you fucking you you've dug your grave, man. You have dug your grave. The this F is no word game. that wasn't classy. I don't care, man. No, I don't care. You, you've already you, you ruffled my feathers way too much, partner. 
Oh, you talk about on. my ex, man. You say shit like that. Yeah, classy. Like, Tito. Sh- come on. Four letter words. Come on, Mr. Class. Classy. You ready to go, Tito? Yeah. Yeah. I've been ready to go for the last week. Like I, now, though. Yes. Like right now. Like now. But you know what? I'm cool. I'm, I'm professional. I've been doing this for 20 years. Classy. I'll, I'll step back and I'll, I'll wait until Saturday. I'm okay. Okay. 